Welcome to a quick guide for how to get the graceful set on Old School RuneScape. The items you're going to need are a games necklace and some marks of grace. Marks of grace can be collected from doing any rooftop agility course in the game. You will need 260 marks in order to get the full set. And once you have 260 marks, you will want to head to the Rogue's Den in Burthorpe. To get to Burthorpe easily, all you'll want to do is grab a games necklace, which you can get on the Grand Exchange, and use it to teleport straight to Burthorpe. When you're in Burthorpe, you're going to want to head into this pub. There is a trap door behind the bar. Head down this trap door and once you're down here you're going to want to head west and then south where you'll find Grace. Speak to Grace and buy your pieces. So after an update in January 2020 each piece of the graceful set now increases your run restoration individually and then when you're wearing the full set it adds an extra 10% onto that. So if you're wearing the hood it gives you a plus 3% run restoration increase and the weight reduction is minus 3 kilograms. But if you're wearing the full set it's a total of plus 30%. If you wear each of the individual pieces together it'll give you a total of plus 20%, but the set gets a bonus of an extra 10%, which means it adds up to plus 30% run energy restoration. So it's definitely worth getting this set. At level 10, you can do the Draenor Village Rooftop Course, where you'll gain around 12 marks of grace per hour on average. It's not really set in stone how many you'll get, but it's a rough estimate and you will get around 10k XP per hour. So the XP rates aren't terrible and they don't really get any better at the Al Karid course. However, the rates at which you'll receive Marks of Grace are slightly better at the Draenor course, being 12 compared to eight at the Al Karid course. The XP rates are basically the same. At level 30, you'll want to head to the Varrock rooftop course, where you'll gain around 13k XP, and you'll continue getting around 12 marks of grace per hour. The next stop is the stop you will be at until around level 60 unless you boost your agility level through potions where you'll gain around 19 or 20 marks of grace per hour and around 19k xp per hour so it's a significant jump compared to the varrock rooftop course and the course in my experience is a lot quicker and it just it just feels much better in my opinion, and I'm happy to stay here for a much longer time than the Varrock course. Now, if you would prefer high, a higher XP rate, you can move to Falador. However, the rates of the Marks of Grace do drop significantly compared to the Canifis course. At the Falador course, you'll receive around 27k XP per hour and around 13 marks per hour. So it is quite a drop from Canifis in terms of marks, but in terms of XP, it is almost double. So it's worth it for XP, but if you're farming marks, then not so much. The next course is at Sears Village, where you can reach up to about 56,000 XP per hour, as long as you've completed the hard Kandarin diary. The rates of marks of grace are quite hard to predict on this course because of the differences between the spawn rates if you have done the hard tasks compared to whether you have not. So they can vary quite a lot. The marks of grace you can expect can be around 15 per hour, but you can see more depending on which tasks you have completed, whether you finish the easy set, medium set or hard set. 
the rates increase by 5%, 10% and 15% respectively. If you are like me and you don't already have the level for Sears Village, then you can boost by 5 levels by using the Summer Pie, which you can buy off the Grand Exchange, or you can make yourself. But it is still recommended that you stick to the Canifis course until around level 60, just so you can get the Marks of Grace sooner. Once you have 20 levels above the course's requirements, you will see a reduction in the Marks of Grace by 20%. This means at level 60 you will receive around 4 less marks of grace per hour at Canifis, because 20% of 20 is 4. At this point you will definitely have the full graceful set, so it is definitely worth staying until about 90 when you can do the Ardoin course, which is where you will stay until you are level 99. There are other options, but this is just for rooftop agility, and Sears Village is generally one of the higher XP courses in the game, so it is worth staying even if you don't need the marks of grace. Thank you for watching this quick guide on how to get the marks of grace and the graceful set. This video took significantly longer than what I'm used to, so yeah, I would I would appreciate a like or a comment letting me know if I've missed anything. As always, this was Mikey Avelli, signing out.